Hi you guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. As you guys know, I pretty recently got back from an amazing week-long ski trip to the French Alps with my boyfriend and his family. I already posted a travel vlog, a pack with me vlog, and an apartment tour. If you guys are interested in that, I will link it down below. But specifically in this video, I wanted to talk about the overall cost of this trip. And I think it's a really interesting topic to discuss because coming from the North American perspective, like I was raised and lived my whole life in Canada, the idea of doing an all-inclusive family ski vacation, like including rentals, lift tickets, chalet, and lessons, was just something that seemed completely unaffordable to me. And never mind doing that ski trip in Canada, but to fly to Europe and do a ski trip in the Alps just seemed like something completely unattainable ever to me. I never thought it would be something that I would be able to do because I just thought it was so expensive. But now that I'm going through the costs and everything I paid and looking at the total, I'm realizing that it very much is a realistic trip for a family or even friend groups to do in Europe. So today we're gonna go through all of the costs Keeping in mind that this whole trip cost me less than 1,000 euros, which I think is crazy. So yeah, we're gonna go through the seven costs of this trip. We had the train, the ski rentals, the lift ticket, the chalet, the groceries, the tourism tax, and any sort of restaurant going out food expenses. So the first cost for me was the train ticket from Paris to Grenoble. We were skiing at the Deux Alpes Ski Village Resort, which is in Isère. It's about a one hour drive from Grenoble. So Jean and I took the train from Paris to Grenoble and Jean's parents picked us up in Grenoble and we all drove together to the village in Isère. That train cost us 35 euros. And then on the way back, Jean's parents dropped us off in Lyon and we took the train from Lyon to Paris and that ticket was 48 euros and 69 cents. So in total, the transportation from Paris to the ski location cost us about 84 euros. One thing I do wanna say about this is that Jean and I both have the carte avantage, which is like a membership you can pay for the train system in France. And what this membership does is it's 50 euros for the year and it gives you about 30% off your train tickets. So we did have that little discount into the price, but uh, all things considered, the transportation cost us 84 euros. Moving on, our second cost were the ski rentals and these were 169 euros. I took skis that were like intermediate level skis. However, we had three discounts on our skis, so I actually only ended up paying 95 euros and 56 cents. And this is for like the whole week of skiing. This is like six days of skiing, of ski rentals. Like I said, we didn't pay that 169 euro fee. We got about 43% off the total price. And that's because one, we got a discount for paying online. Two, we had like the points card for the store. We rented our skis from a store called Intersport, which is like a sporting life or a sport checks so with the points card. And that gave us an extra 10% off. And then the third reason we got a discount is because we booked through Jean's CE, which is the Comité Entreprise. And in English, this is the work council. And of the many things the work councils do in France, um, one of their roles is to work on employee benefits. And so there's a ton of different benefits with your CE. Like you might get movie tickets for two euros. You might get Disneyland tickets for 20 euros. Like you'll get huge discounts on things. And so one of the discounts that Jean's CE offered him um, was to have a discount on ski rentals. So we use that. And overall with those three discounts, we got the price from 169 to 95 euros and 56 cents. Our third cost, which were the lift tickets, was absolutely mind-blowing to me. Just, just hear me out here. So the total cost for the lift tickets were 279 euros for the six days, but because we booked through the people we were renting our apartment from, the chalet from, we got a little bit of a discount. We got about a 30 euro discount. So I actually only ended up paying 251 euros for six days of skiing. This is about 42 euros a day. And what's crazy to me is that I know because I looked at booking Blue Mountain tickets to ski in Canada 
And from what I remember, this was $90, so about 60 euros a day to ski at Blue Mountain. And the fact that skiing in the Alps was only 42 euros, keeping in mind that you are skiing in the mountains, you have access to 40 chairlifts and 80 ski runs. I just think that's crazy to me. 42 euros is so, so affordable. So yeah, total for the week, we paid 251 euros. Crazy. Now the fourth cost we had, which was also shocking to me, was our chalet. So we had a dream of a chalet. This chalet was 200 meters squared, which is 2,150 square feet for all my Canadians out there. It had five bedrooms, so it fit 12 people. Most bedrooms had a double bed. One bedroom had a couple bunk beds for like children. It had a fully equipped kitchen. It had a wraparound balcony with sun beds. Um, there was also a little shack where it had boot heaters so you could store your boots and your skis and your poles when you weren't skiing. And also keep in mind that this chalet and the little ski shack was 100 meters from the slopes. So you would wake up in the morning, put on your ski boots, and literally walk for one minute to get to the slopes, okay? We are not like a drive away, we are basically on the hills, but that's not even the best part. The best part of this accommodation of this chalet was the fact that we had our own private hot tub, sauna, and hammam. Like I have never rented anywhere in my life where I've had those kind of private amenities. I just thought it was crazy walking into the chalet truly was such a dream and I, I guess that's not even the best part the best part to me was the cost of this chalet okay so the overall cost was 3,296 euros for the week in total keeping in mind that this chalet could house 12 people if you were filling it with 12 people you would only have to pay 275 euros per person for the week that's crazy to me like when when would you ever book that kind of huge luxurious space for less than 300 euros a week like just crazy to me but because we were only eight couples we only split it in eight so we actually ended up paying 412 euros for the week but in my opinion still totally manageable very affordable in my opinion for what we were getting next we had the tourism tax to pay and this was three euros per person per day we stayed for a week so the tourism tax that i had to pay was 21 euros the six cost for me for this trip were the groceries because we had a fully equipped huge kitchen we cooked 90 percent of our meals so the first grocery cost i had um was a contribution we all made we all gave over about 21 euros to pay for the daily groceries like baguettes bread um meats and cheese from the cheese shop and the butcher and and all of that so we had that little cost we all contributed into a little pool and we went and bought our daily baguettes um and then on top of that the three other families, so Jean and I came in a train, so we didn't bring groceries with us, but the three other families brought up all of the groceries for the week in their cars. And they did this because it would have probably been a little bit more expensive to buy the groceries at the grocery store in the ski village. And I also think there would have been a, a much less variety of what we could have like cooked. The stores, the stores in the village were quite small, so it was really great that they brought everything up in the cars. And the cost for those groceries per person, I would say, is about 70 euros. So in total for groceries for 90% of the meals for the week, I paid 91 euros. Now, my last cost for this trip was eating out. Now, because we were within such close proximity to the ski hills, whenever we wanted to take a lunch break or a snack break, we either brought our sandwiches with us and had a picnic on the hills, or we took a little break and skied off back to our chalet, had a quick lunch, and headed right back to the slopes. So that's how we did most of our lunches during the day since we were skiing all day. That being said, on our last day, we did treat ourselves to an amazing lunch at the top of the mountain. It was such a beautiful view. The food was really good. It's just nice to be skiing in the cold and then come in for a hot meal. So that meal costs us about 15 to 20 euros per person, which I actually think is quite affordable for a restaurant at the top of a ski slope. And on top of that, on another day during the week, we also grabbed a beer, like a little break. We had a beer and we were sitting in these beautiful sun chairs on the terrace of a bar 
on the hill. So that was really fun. And the beer was, I think, seven euros. It was seven or eight euros. Definitely affordable. It's crazy to me because a beer at the top of the Alps on a terrace is cheaper than a beer on a busy, crowded bar in Paris. Like, I think that's so, I think that's hilarious. But yeah, the total cost for me eating out on the slopes was about 20, 25 euros. So overall, the total cost for this trip for me was 981 euros and 25 cents, which I find so affordable. Maybe I'm just coming from the North American perspective where it's a lot more expensive to ski or just the perspective of an adult who lived in Canada and who would have had to fly somewhere and just the thought of booking the flight, the hotel, paying for meals and activities. Like I just... I do think that a full week-long all-inclusive trip for less than a thousand euros is like a really good deal. And even I was talking to my brother about this because he's always wanted to go to the Alps to ski. And when I told him the cost of my trip, he was like, damn, like the, the week-long all-inclusive trip I'm taking to Cuba just to sit on a beach cost me more than my dream ski trip to the Alps. And I think it's like that for a lot of North Americans. Like I was saying, I think it's just a lot more expensive to travel and especially do like a week-long family ski trip in North America or in Canada. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was useful or interesting to you guys to hear about what the price of this kind of trip would cost in Europe. I'd be super interested if you guys want to let me know what this would cost in your countries, especially the US. I've never skied there. And even your general thoughts on if this would be affordable in your opinion, if this is a trip that you guys would consider doing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.